Hello and welcome to Akeem. In this video, I'll give you detailed instructions on how to download and install Lukeen Desktop and Outlook Search on your PC. By the end of the video, you will be able to perform your first high-speed search with Lukeen. First, I will explain how you download and open the Lukeen installer with the most common browsers Microsoft Internet Explorer, Google Chrome and Mozilla Firefox. Afterwards, I will guide you through the installation, step by step. And finally, I'll show you the easiest ways to start Lukeen. Feel free to skip to the instructions you need by clicking on the index cards, which will show throughout the whole video on the right edge of the screen. First, we'll download Lukeen from Internet Explorer. Go to www.lukeen.com. Then, click on the large download button on the Lukeen homepage. It doesn't matter which version you intend to buy, whether it is the Standard Edition, the Business Edition or Enterprise Edition, or if you just want to try it out for two weeks. In each case, you download Lukeen via this button. A small yellow notification will pop up at the bottom of your window. Now either click Run to open the installer right away, or click Save. It can happen that your browser blocks the download. If you receive such a notification and your download doesn't start within a few seconds, Click within the green outlines to start the download manually. You can locate your downloads anytime by clicking on the little gear in the top right corner. Then navigate to View Downloads and click on the blue text below Location. By default it says Downloads. With Google Chrome, downloading Lukeen works very similarly. Just go to lukeen.com. Click the green button and a button will appear in the lower left corner, indicating the progress of your download. Once the download is finished, either click on the button to open the installer right away, or click on the little arrow and choose Show in Folder to open the location of the download. If the download is blocked by Chrome, click within the green outlines to start your download manually. You can locate your downloads anytime with a click on the three lines in the top right corner. Then navigate to Downloads and below your Lukeen Exit download, click Show in Folder. And again, with Firefox, it's basically the same download process. Go to Lukeen.com. Press the green button and Firefox will ask you if you want to save the file. Click Save File and then arrow icon will fly to the top right corner, indicating where you can check the status of your download. If your browser blocked the download, click anywhere within the green lines to download Lukeen manually. Click on the arrow button to view your downloads. Again, you can open the installer directly with a left click, or open the download location by clicking on the small folder icon. If you want to find your downloads again after you've closed Firefox, just click Show All Downloads. And like before, you can open the Downloads folder with a click on the small folder icon inside the Lukeen Exe button. Now you're ready to start the installation, but before you do that, make sure Outlook is not running. When you're in your Downloads folder, start the Lukeen installation wizard with a double click on the Lukeen Exe file. Now Windows will ask you whether this program is allowed to be installed. Click Yes. It is possible that Windows asks you to confirm that you have administrator privileges by entering the login password to the administrator account. If you don't know it, ask the administrator of your PC for help. Now pick the language used during the installation. This choice is not final. You can change Lukeen's language later in the options menu. Now please read the license agreement and if you accept the terms, check I accept the agreement. Then click next. Now you can change the destination of your Lekeen installation if you want to. We recommend that you leave it at the default location. But if you do want to change, simply click browse and navigate to the desired folder. Please note that at least 85 megabytes of free disk space are required for the installation. When you're done, click Next. Now you can pick the Start menu folder for Lukeen. 
This will determine where you find Lucene in the app list that appears when you hit the Windows button. Again, we recommend that you just leave it at default. Now you can decide which additional tasks, which are not mandatory for installation, should be performed. A desktop icon is a shortcut to Lucene that is always visible on your desktop. Some people may prefer to leave the desktop blank, but it is the fastest way to open Lucene. If you add Lucene to Windows Startup, it will load automatically when you start your computer. This way, Lucene will always be ready to use and you will not need to think about starting it ever again. If you check Install a Secure MS Outlook plugin, you will only be able to access Lucene from the Outlook search bar. You will still be able to search for any files saved on your computer though. After choosing the additional tasks, you're ready to install Lucene on your PC. It should only take a couple of seconds. Lucene is now successfully installed on your PC and you can open it directly out of the installer. After your first installation of Lucene, the setup wizard will show up. It will give you a quick overview of the Lucene features. If you want Lucene to search Outlook as well, click yes. Of course, if you don't use Outlook, Lucene's desktop search is still completely functional. If you choose to install Lucene's Outlook search, Lucene will open automatically. Since Outlook takes a little time to start, I'll fast forward a bit. Whether you chose to install Outlook Search or not, the next step will be defining the sources you want Lucene to index. Only index sources can be searched. Leave Start Indexing when finished checked and Lucene will prepare and start the indexing process automatically after you close the visit. Please note that Lucene needs to finish the index before all search results can be displayed. Normally, Lucene would open automatically after closing the wizard, but in this demonstration I will skip to the three easiest ways to launch it. If you use Lucene for Outlook, you can start Lucene with a click on the Lucene ribbon and then press the Lucene icon. Or open it with a click on the button next to the Lucene search bar. Since Lucene is a complete desktop search, it is integrated into Windows as well. You don't need Outlook to start it. Launching Lucene out of Windows is easiest done with a double click on the Lucene desktop icon. Or if you didn't choose to generate a desktop icon during installation, start typing in Lucene in your Windows search bar to find it in your app list. Click on the button that appears and it's there. Once Lucene is running, you can also access it by simply double tapping control or clicking on the Lucene icon in your system tray. Congratulations, you're ready to search with high speed now. Thank you for watching this how to install Lucene video.